so many of us waste so much time feeling bad for ourselves or having pity parties and being down on ourselves or being hard on ourselves sometimes. We don't try to take a moment to realize that we have the power. We have the power to take control over our lives and control over where we go and what we do and creating the life that we really want. I wasted so much time feeling bad for myself. I would literally go to sleep feeling bad for myself, wake up in the morning feeling bad for myself, and I would just sit there in bed and just looking into space, wasting so much time just literally feeling bad for myself. I would just say all these negative things to myself. I would come up with all of these different scenarios and how what I wanted would never happen. And I just could not get out of that funk for so long. I could not get out of that. I would literally just stare off into space. I would be bound by the bed, literally, because that was like my comfort zone. I didn't have to deal with people. No one had to see me. No one had to see how defeated I felt and how defeated I really was because I was in my own head and I was having a pity party. I was having a party alone. And I know that there are so many of you guys who are in that same place and you don't realize it, but you're feeling so bad for yourself that you cannot get out of your own way. Everything in you is telling you that where you are right now is where you're always going to be. And you listen to what everyone else has to say. So instead of you trying to find the good in things, you always are quick to go to the negative. And I did that for like so long. I would just go from my bed to the kitchen table or the couch or whatever and I would just sit there and I would literally just look sad and I wouldn't eat I wouldn't do anything it was very very draining just how I felt and what I had to realize was that I was allowing everything around me to really affect me but most importantly I was allowing myself to affect me and I didn't know how to take ownership. I didn't know how to have an agreement with myself and tell myself that I would never be in this place. I didn't know how to rescue myself. I didn't know how to get myself out of my way. Stop feeling bad for yourself. It's one of the most important things for you to do. You have to stop feeling bad for yourself and the choices that you made in the past. Ultimately, you can't change those things. You cannot change what happened yesterday. You can't change what happened last year five years ago, 10 years ago, you cannot change those things. Now, at this point, all you can do is take a look at yourself and say, I want to be different. I know that I'm standing in the way of my growth. I'm standing in the way of my progression. I'm standing in the way of my dreams. I'm standing in the way of a great relationship with my friends, with my family, with my significant other. I am putting so much on myself and I'm just continuously doing the same things over and over again. I have to be the one to put a stop to this. And I had to come to that place. Obviously, you guys know that I quit nursing. I quit my like career, what I went to school for. And I felt so bad for myself before coming to that decision. I literally felt bad. Like I would sit there and wallow in my sorrows because I was just like, okay, I did all of this stuff and now I'm here and I'm unhappy. And where do I go from here? What do I do? I don't know. My life is over now. Like this is it for me. I, I felt so bad. I, I just put myself down constantly over and over again and I didn't want anyone to even see me. I didn't want to talk to anyone or anything because I just felt so bad for myself. I felt so bad that I made the decision to even begin that career knowing that it was not for me. And then now being where I was, I felt so bad. But then I just got so tired of feeling bad for myself. And I know for so many of you guys, you're in that place where you literally are feeling bad for yourself. You feel bad that you chose to date this person. You feel bad that you chose to spend money on this thing, that you're in this place, that you didn't move, that you didn't take this chance, that you went and started this career, that you chose this major, whatever the case may be. The thing is when you learn to start Stop feeling bad for yourself and the choices that you've made and where you are. You will learn to make better choices moving forward. You will learn to just love yourself more moving forward and just being a better person moving forward. And even though you may not be where you ultimately want to be, you find gratitude regardless. You're able to just see so much more in yourself and the potential and things really do begin to change for you. And I'm telling you this because that's what I had to do. I had to literally sit down, have a contract with myself and write out the things that I felt about myself 
myself and where I was and how unhappy and the, the ways that I was making excuses for myself and how I was feeling bad for myself, I had to come sit down and sign a contract with myself. And it may sound kind of crazy, but I'm telling you, it really helped me. It helps me because it was like, Seeing it out on paper made it so real to me and I didn't want to let myself down. So I had this contract and I signed it and I put it up on my wall. So every morning when I would get up, I would look over there. Every night when I would go to bed, I would look there. When I'm getting dressed and everything, I would look there and it was just a reminder. And anytime I felt myself slipping, I would look back over at that contract and read it aloud to myself, knowing that I have this contract with myself and I'm telling myself that I'm gonna get out of my own way. I'm gonna stop feeling bad for myself. If someone else feels bad for me, that's on them. But I can only control myself. I don't want other people to feel bad for me. I wanna get to a place where I can tell people don't feel bad for me because I'm good and that's where I am now and I really want to help you guys get there too. I am not anywhere near where I really want to be or where I feel I should be but I'm so much farther along the way than I ever was and that only came about when I began to take ownership and hold myself accountable. I didn't expect other people to hold myself accountable. like. There's no way that I can have someone else hold me accountable if I can't first hold myself accountable or I can't hold someone else accountable if I can't do the, the thing for myself first. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I also have that contract that I made with myself down in the description box so that you can download it. It's free. It's just something that you can have. It's just a piece of paper, just something between you and yourself just saying that you are declaring that you're going to get out of your own way. You're not going to make excuses for yourself anymore. You're going to stop feeling bad for yourself today or whatever day that you decide to do this that that is your first step in the right direction that is the first step to you choosing yourself and not making excuses for yourself and letting all of that stuff go i did it it's really it really has helped me and i continuously do things like that so that i can just be a better person overall that's the thing that i will always say the goal is not perfection the goal is growth to grow each and every day so make sure that you go down into the description box and download that and print it out and sign it make sure that you hold yourself accountable and if you would like snap me let me know that you did it so that I can see it we can talk about it Instagram whatever way so that I know or email me anything so I know that you did it and you are really moving forward with your life so I really hope that this helped you guys and I really want to see you guys win so make sure that you always do things that matter and also keep it random and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace